Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Cameron and Miliband clash over Europe. Is David Cameron planning an Irish-style referendum? We're either in or we're in. It's your choice. Finland says UK out of the EU is like fish without chips. And EU climate change targets will make cars much more expensive. Finally, in our legislation section, the EU calls for yet more legislation and regulation. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. Well, they do like to revel in the political spin, don't they? Our technocratic political puppets are playing tag team wrestling with the futures of the British people. This article takes a more detailed look at the shenanigans being played out by our powerless puppets of the Westminster Punch and Judy show. It's fun to watch these boys from Eton playing democracy conquers, all the while failing to even realise that they've tied the UK to a derivatives fraud linked economic atom bomb. There is much more to come as this story is going to explode. Now this story is utterly fantastic. It summarises the lies and deceit undertaken by a string of political leaders. Promises of EU reform, referendums on the fundamental question of the EU, all, every single one, reneged. Think it will be any different this time? Then you need your bumps felt. It's all nonsense, a complete smokescreen, and the only reason these idiots get away with any of this is because we let them. Finland's president has set out the case to discourage the UK from leaving the EU, likening the experience to having fish without chips. Hmm. Clearly Mr Kaikman has got things mixed up, seeing that if Britain left the EU it would get all the rights to its fishing waters repatriated and therefore it would be more like the Finnish PM would be having chips without fish. Mushy peas or gravy with that? By 2020, new cars will have to adhere to much stricter rules on carbon dioxide emissions. This will push up the cost of these cars making transport and all other derived services more expensive. This article looks at some of the key issues we face. Needless to say, there could be a light on the horizon. The Roma, a traditionally nomadic gypsy people of Romania, are to be granted free access to Rome throughout the EU and they have technology far superior to ours. The donkey-powered larder, zero emissions, no road tax and carbon neutral. Yes, the gangster scribes are back in the house. Well, actually it's the EU Parliament, but the similarities are rather striking. This article from our legislation section reveals a targeted agenda for another raft of legislation to be written. The article bullet lists the key areas for regulatory development and was, as usual, voted in with little resistance by the nodding dogs in the EU hemicircle. As always, we'll capture the regulation's early doors in our pipeline section and I will keep you updated here on the nightly news. Today in our video library, Cameron cannot win back powers from the EU. John Bufton, MEP, asked the Irish Prime Minister to consider whether there can be different types of EU membership. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.